G'day, Josh here with the 97 overall playoff moments master Dirk Nowitzki. He is an absolute beast. Check out these stats. Uh, even ignoring the boost, his three point shot is still fantastic at 92. Mid range is 96. Scrolling down, he's got 94 dunking. I don't really understand that, but I'll take it, that's for sure. And his, uh, his rebounding, kind of like the Legacy Dirt card, who has great rebounding. This guy has fantastic rebounding stats. 92 box out, 95 offensive rebounding, and the 96 defensive rebounding as we jump into some gameplay with him. These are some showdown quarters that I have recorded and we'll now be sort of talking over as we run through gameplay. I was just using Dirk offensively though, so we hit him up with the catch and shoot, top of the arc, splash. 78% is uh, the percentage we're hitting with all of his boosts, with his three point stat where it's currently at, and he's an absolute beast. If you've ever used the maxed out version of his legacy card, you know what a solid Dirk card plays like. Uh, that's one of the best cards still in that power four position. Uh, even though there are higher overall cards available now, he's still probably one of the top five NBA uh, power forwards. But for the classic lineup, this card is unreal. I've been using that maxed out uh, signature Kevin Garnett, and this Dirk is definitely better. And check out that block. Got that out of nowhere. It was well out of the play, but he's just so lanky. At seven foot, he's a really tall power forward, and that helps a lot with defensive plays like that, and obviously with getting rebounds as well. It's a really, really fun card to use. As we look for him again, in his first quarter, uh, trying to do a little post move here. I got the timing horribly wrong on that. Uh, and in his first quarter, I was just trying to mess around with him and take shots that I normally wouldn't. Um, you can only really highlight classic players in showdown. So I was just sort of having a bit of fun with him, experimenting with his uh, out or with his mid range shot, his inside shot, his dunking, his uh, three point shots. And if you excuse the bad timing that I uh, got on some of those post shot releases, he was doing quite well. Um, got that block earlier on. He's just fun. Look at that. That was contested, hence the, the percentage was only 63 instead of his normal 78%, but still got that to go. No worries. And it never even looked like missing. He's got some of the players in this game, like Ray Allen and Dirk, have this really silky smooth shot that you just pretty much always know is going in. That one was heavily contested. Uh, but he does make that, like I've been using him a bit now, uh, especially given that Showdown at this point in time uh, is all about the classic lineup. You get boost for using the classic lineup with a playoffs moment player to your fans. So I've been using him a fair bit and he's just unreal. He can just make everything. Uh, but I definitely mainly use him to shoot three pointers. And that is, if you're after a three point shooting power forward, he's the one to go to for sure. And with the way that this promo has been set up, you can definitely grab him if if he's the one you're focusing on. Uh, I think when I'd finished building him, I had 31 duplicates left over. Uh, and that was the least amount of duplicates I had. I built Baron Davis, I built Dirk, and I also built Dwight Howard. I'm a massive Dwight Howard Orlando Magic fan, so I had to build his card. Uh, but this Dirk, I had the least amount of duplicates with him from memory, and I still had 31 duplicates when I'd finished building his 97 overall card. So it's definitely doable. Uh, if you're a free-to-pay player and you focus just on, on one card like this Dirk, you can definitely unlock him. And check out that step-back fadeaway buzzer beater to finish off that first quarter. That was awesome. I was pretty impressed with that. Now, this second quarter, this is going to be a little bit different because I was just playing as though I was using Dirk uh, like in a normal showdown quarter where I'm just grinding for the win. So I'm not testing his mid-range. I'm not testing his dunking ability. I'm just trying to focus on defense uh, as best as possible, get as many stops as possible, and I'm trying to score a three or a fast break dunk. I'm not interested in anything else, which is kind of like how the Rockets play. They want layups or three-pointers. I'm kind of the same. If I don't have a layup, I'm shooting a three. Uh, the only difference was that I was doing everything in terms of the offense with Dirk this quarter. So normally I'd spread the shooting around a little bit, probably use Ray Allen a bit because he's a beast. Uh, LeBron, if he's in a good shooting position, I'd give him some shots, but I was just hitting Dirk up every shot. And we start off 20% release, splash. 
So we've got one three. I'm going to tally up the threes. So, and that was a 20% release. Obviously, if you get a 20% release, it's a massive boost to your shot going in. And with a shooter like Dirk that already has a base rating of 92 three-pointer that I've heavily boosted, uh, it's a massive, massive uh, increased likelihood of that shot dropping. So that was a weird rebounding situation. I don't really jump, but the ball just fell into my hands. Get it to Dirk, run back out into the corner. That left is backed up. Another 20%, 78% three-point shot drain. So we're up to two straight threes now. We're gonna see if we can keep this ball rolling, see how many consecutive threes we can make with Dirk, just to highlight how much of a beast this card is. So another one running down to the near corner, 20% release again, another make. So three in a row. Now this card does have a base speed stat of 80, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. He definitely seems to run quicker than any other card that I've used with a speed of around 80. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but he can be very quick in the half court and running into the into the corners for those threes. So we do concede two points there, but that's all right. We're still up nine to two. We get to get it to Dirk for another 20% three-point shot and another make. So we're up to four straight threes, no misses yet. This is so it's a pretty good start to a quarter, and this is how I'm grinding showdown, just maximizing the amount of points I get. Dirk with the contest there, and it makes the play a miss, which is great. Straight back to Dirk down the offensive end, run into that corner. That's a, a really easy way to get an open shot. Look at that, another 20% release and another make. Five straight makes now. And it's so easy to get that perfect release with this Dirk card. We get, we do get the strip of the ball, we can't pick it up, but then Dirk comes in and gets it done properly, picks up the loose ball, runs to the corner for another perfect release, six straight threes. This is crazy. So usually 19, 18, 19, 20 points is a reasonable showdown score. Uh, but we've still got 35 seconds left. Let's see if Dirk can give us some, some more magic. But six straight threes without missing is pretty insane. And that gives you guys a really good idea of just how beastly this card is. Obviously not every quarter is going to go this well. Now let's see if we can run to the near corner. Can we get that? Seven straight three, we do get another perfect release. And yes, seven straight threes. 21 points up on the scoreboard, all from Dirk. This card is straight fire. So if you are grinding for him, definitely make sure to put in a concerted effort these last couple of days before the promo ends, because he's well worth the effort. Now hold for the last shot here. I do like to shoot it a little bit early in case we can get a rebound, but that does not matter because he makes his eighth straight three. This entire quarter, I took eight threes with Dirk and I made every single one of them for 24 points and defensively held our opponent to two. That is unreal. So this card is a beast, guys. Good luck with your grind for him. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more content like this.